local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some much calmer conditions out there today than what we had yesterday. Still some clouds out there, but they're high-level clouds, and we've got a lot of blue sky showing off in between there. That means those clouds are beginning to part, which is a nice change of pace. However, a word of caution, looks like we've got some uh, traffic backing up on I-20. A little bit of construction going on, some repairs to an overpass. So do keep in mind, if you have to travel along I-20, uh, segments between Odessa and Midland look like they are uh, at least very slow, possibly stopped for at least a little while. So do be careful with that traffic. But thankfully, the weather overhead is much, much clearer than it was in Odessa. Switching over to Big Spring, you can see things are uh, pretty similar. We've got some clouds overhead. We've got some sunshine poking out between those clouds. We're going to be dealing with a pretty, very beautiful sunset coming our way here later on. Thanks to the Big Spring Tower Cam on top of the historic hotel settles in Big Spring. And thanks to our Sky Tracker Network, we've got a good look from across West Texas. Now overhead, as far as the uh, satellite and radar is concerned, We've got that low pressure system that gave us a lot of trouble yesterday. Now swooping into places like Kansas, you can still see some pretty tight counterclockwise rotation patterns to that low pressure, indicating its strength. And also out ahead of that low pressure, check this out: 676 miles. Actually, it extends a little bit further at the end of that tip. A very long line of thunderstorms tracking against uh, across one, two, three, and four states right now. Very, very large structure going on. Thankfully, that's not really flowing into West Texas too much. We do have a couple of showers popping up in Terrell County. I'll keep my eyes on them. I don't expect too much in the way of development here in West Texas. Most of the energy is going to be situated through Central Texas and Eastern, as well as Northern Texas for the rest of this evening. Right now, what we've got, just a lot of cloud cover out there. Could see a couple of rain showers, maybe a thunderstorm popping up. But as far as severe weather potential goes for the rest of the day, that is going to be pretty low. Rather, the main story is going to be the winds, actually, for this afternoon and this evening. We've got a wind advisory outlined now for the northern basin, parts of the northern Trans-Pecos, as well as some of the mountains and southeast New Mexico. This one expiring at 9 p.m. Central Time. So it's going to be a little while before that expires. We're looking at some pretty strong wind gusts. But we've also got a slightly more serious high wind warning. This one indicating wind speeds usually between 60 miles per hour, about 70 miles per hour through the Guadalupe Pass as far as gusts go. That one also expiring at that 9 p.m. Central time frame there. And as far as the severe weather goes, again, that's going to be staying off to our east. Here in West Texas, none of us are under any kind of severe weather risk. But as you can see, central, northern, and eastern Texas outlined in that slight risk zone. So we're in the clear here in West Texas as far as thunderstorms go. And actually, we're going to be seeing some pretty mild conditions going on here for the next couple of days. Mild and pretty chilly, if you ask me. We'll be dropping down to 60 degrees for our high temperatures after a low at 46 by 8 a.m. Wind speeds picking up to about 10, 15 miles per hour for tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to be a pretty windy day, but those winds are at least mostly responsible for our temperature drops. Right now we're looking at some pretty breezy conditions coming in out of the due west. And notice these pinkish colors here in the Guadalupe Pass and parts of southeast New Mexico, indicating wind speeds up to about 60 miles per hour. Now those will fade away pretty quickly in the overnight hours, leading us to a fairly breezy morning tomorrow, but notice those wind arrows pointing in from the north and east, and as those wind speeds ramp up into tomorrow afternoon, we are going to be seeing some cooler air filtering into West Texas as a result. So, uh, another cold front coming through, possibly one of the last of the season. Temperatures backing down into the 40s for tomorrow morning. Odessa Midland, I anticipate dropping down to about 45 degrees, so it is going to get to be pretty chilly for tomorrow morning. Once we get to tomorrow afternoon, though, those high temperatures do back off down to to 60 degrees. Once we get to Saturday, notice those lows down to 38 degrees and 52 the high on Saturday. So we do have another cold day on our hands. Thankfully, we do recover pretty quickly. Sunday's high at 78 degrees. As far as rain chances go, we'll be in the clear tomorrow. Small 20% chance for showers Saturday morning and Monday morning. Just looking at regular chances for showers there. Really not a whole lot of thunderstorm potential for the next couple of days. So your car, it's a safe time to wash your car. <laughs> We're drying out here, Chase. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much.